Hey guys, Kevin Dunn here, and I've got a funky bendy tripod. So I want to quickly show you this because I think this is something that YouTubers and photographers will find very, very useful. This is a generic type one. It comes from a company called Empow, but you will see this sold under many different names. And I'm sure if you pop on it somewhere like AliExpress and you don't mind waiting six weeks for it, then you can pick it up very cheap there. It costs 20 pounds in the UK and it came with a lot of little accessories here. It's got a smartphone Bluetooth shutter, normally associated with selfie sticks, but that is quite useful. GoPro attachment and a smartphone holder. This is the exact same model that I've got already that I use, maybe a little bit stiffer, but it's very, very useful. It retails about £4.99 in the UK. Um, again, if you order from China, you'll get it for like two bucks. But this is really um, handy in itself. Something that I've always found useful. Now, as far as many tripods go, I've got a few different things in the house. Um, I've used this occasionally over the years. This costs like a dollar or a pound. It's basically it's cheap crap, if I'm honest. But it does come in handy from time to time when I've got, you know, in certain situations. I use it for my audio recorder sometimes. But the one that I always use, my go-to mini tripod, not my main tripod, but my mini tripod, is the Kalman Magnusic Copter. And the code is CB2. Uh, well, that's the extension, sorry, at the top is CB2. Because this thing screws off like that. Now, this thing is fantastic. I love it. You know, it's really, really flexible. You know, you can move it around, the ball around like this. And you can also actually, this thing at the top, you can actually turn that around and it becomes a hot shoe adapter. You can see that there. It's very, very, very useful. I love it. I remember at the time I was buying it and you know, it was about 25, 30 pounds in the UK. And I wasn't sure about spending that because there was lots of alternatives that were only like seven pounds, eight pounds, and they looked just as good. But I read a few positive reviews about this and it's the best thing I've ever bought. It's a solid aluminium build. It's really well made and this thing is going to last me 10 years, at least 15 years, 20 years. It's fantastic. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. Now, I'm calling this a bendy tripod. It's also known as a flexible tripod. And there's a lot of brand name ones like this that sell for quite a lot of money. Joby is one of the brand names that come to mind. Their, their Gorillapod one is very, very popular. Uh, I'll just show you how it works. So the attachment here pops on the back. And you can put it on the top there. Now, as I was saying, the, the, the Joby brand and a few other brands are very expensive, but the one I've got isn't. And, you know, after playing about with this, I don't know if you would have to spend a lot of money on the other ones. Maybe it's worth it, you know, if you're holding a, a more expensive camera, but I think for a basic camera, you should be okay with this. The one thing about this one that really drives me nuts, though, is this attachment and you can see here, I'm fighting with it behind the camera just now. See here? Now, this quick re release mechanism makes a lot of sense in many ways because if you're taking a shot, you can video something and then if you want to take your camera out and then you want to hold it, you just push these buttons and release it. The problem is that you have to click these back into place. Sometimes it goes first time and it's perfect like that and it works okay. But other times it, it's kind of hanging off and if you don't get it right, the first time or the second time and then you walk around your camera's going to drop and you're going to wish that you spent a lot more money on another another tripod so you just be careful about that with this kind of one this one is very popular as i said you'll see this in ebay you'll see it in amazon you'll see it in sites like aliexpress and you'll see it very cheap um you know the prices go up and down you'll see some of them will have branding on it but essentially this is all the same all the same product there's a lot of plastic at the top you know it doesn't feel like a quality product if, if i'm honest but down at the bottom, it does feel really good. These legs are really, really secure. And it's not like you can bend them very easily. You do need to put a little bit of force into them. So the benefit of this tripod is obvious, is that you can move it into a range of different positions. So when you've got a normal tripod, you've, you've basically just got that, you know, your normal tripod position, and then you can change the height a little bit. This can be restrictive at times. And with this tripod, you really can open up into a lot of weird and wonderful positions that you never thought you could have done in the past. So I can maybe try, I'll pull this camera back a little bit. 
Now, let's take this for an example. We've got the edge of my desk. So if you look here, what we can do is this. You can see that sometimes it does take a lot of messing around to get the ideal position. But I've tried out this out in a lot of different places um, and it does work. It does work really well. As, as you saw there, you know, I was trying to do that quickly, but this always happens. But I think it's good to show you that it doesn't always happen first time, especially when you're trying to do this behind a camera and you've got a microphone to the side of you. That's my excuse anyway. But... The idea is you can position this around anything. You can position it on walls, you can position it upside down, you can position it on rocks, on boxes, any kind of surface. Now, as a standard tripod, if I'm going to put my camera onto a tripod, I'm just going to put it on a table and I'm just going to talk to the camera, then this is the one I'm going to use, always. This is my tried and tested, it's simpler. But there's a lot of times when this doesn't let me do what I need to do and this is when this comes in you know I think this would be amazing for smaller cameras and action cameras I'm sure it does work well with bigger cameras as well but you know I think when you're using a smaller camera you're going to be able to use this in a lot of different positions and I think if you're going on holiday as well you know being able to use this with a smartphone and you know you're walking around the beach you can position this on a rock you can position it on a tree and you do, as, as you saw there, you know, you, you do kind of have to mess around with it for a while. You do need to make sure you get all the legs into position. And you, sometimes you put it in a position and you think it's going to be solid and it's going to work fine. But then it kind of falls down. So you do kind of need to find the correct position. But the legs are so sturdy that it does work. Now, you guys, if you are a YouTuber, if you you know, take a lot of photos, I'm sure you're going to find this accessory useful. I hope you've enjoyed watching this and I've showed you the good points and the bad points about this particular version. But I think these kind of things are really, really good. I'd love to try one of the most, more expensive brands in the future, you know. They do ret retail at quite um, a lot more money, depending on the brand. But this thing now is something that's always going to be with me if I'm going anywhere. And I think I'll take that tripod, my Kilman. I'll also be taking this one because I think this is going to, whenever this one doesn't work, this is going to step in. You know, the flexible bendy one is going to step in and it's going to give me a shot that I'm not going to get with a regular tripod. So I hope you found this useful, guys. I hope I've helped you decide whether this is something that you'd like to look at. I do recommend checking them out. There's a, as I said, you can buy these from China pretty cheaply and I think they're really good it's not the ultimate tripod it's not perfect it does have flaws but I think its flaws are kind of you know negated with how flexible and versatile this and how many different positions this is going to have to you know it's going to let you do how many different shots you're going to be able to do with this the only thing as I said many times this thing I hate I really don't I'm still not sure about this but you know it doesn't oh that's there it's worked first time there I think you just have to get used to the mechanism. Oh, let's walk there again. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've got any questions about this, please do let me know. Please do ask a comment below. I'll do my best to answer them. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.